In this quick tutorial, I will teach you how to do digital cross-processing. If you don't know what cross-processing is, you can visit our Facebook wall and read all about it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to click on the new adjustment layer. It's located at the bottom of your layer palette. And then I'll bring up curves. From the drop-down menu, you'll notice that you have three different channels, red, green, and blue. So let's play with the blue channel. You can add anchor points to your um, straight line, and then you can twist it. But for now, I will make only one. This is my midpoint, and if I move it towards the bottom, you'll notice that the picture is changing, the color is changing. If I add another anchor to the top, I can play with the highlights in this image. So I want to move my line towards the bottom and you'll notice that the highlights are becoming yellow. If you want to play with the shadows, create another point towards the bottom of the line and move it in either direction. So let me change this image a little bit. All right. Now let's go to our red channel and we'll kind of do the same thing. I really want to adjust these highlights and make them more red. You can see what's happening. This picture already looks older. And um, let's close this. Now if you want to make it more dramatic, you can simply copy this layer by dragging it towards the bottom. You'll notice this little icon right here that says create new layer. Now this looks too yellow, but I can change the opacity by moving my slider to the left. Now if I want to go back to curves, you can simply double click. And I can make further adjustments. Let's see what I can do. Let's go to greens and I will play with the shadows. I think this looks fine. Now one last thing that I like to do is I like to play with selective color. From the drop down menu you can select the blacks and I like to make my shadows fade a little bit. So what you can do is move the slider to the left. If you go too far to the left this image will become white. So you don't want your shadows to be white. Let's do minus 10. Then I'm going to add some magenta to my shadows and perhaps a little bit of yellow. So let's see what we had before. This is what we had before and this is what we have now. And this is one of the ways you can do cross-processing in Photoshop.